Number six on my list of 10 unexpected awesome things about being Catholic. Okay, so this is a big one. Um, today I'm going to talk about the rosary. And I know that for many of us converts coming into the church, there's so many different devotional things that go into being Catholic. And when you get, when you come into the church, you can get overwhelmed really quickly with all of the different devotions that there are. And I don't know about other people, but for me, I was pretty like lost when it came to what I should do because everybody's got a different opinion. You know, there are people that say you need to do this or you need to pray that or um, you need to do this consecration or that chaplet or this particular thing or that particular thing. And it all gets really overwhelming sometimes because when you walk into the church, <clears throat> they don't just hand you like, here's step one of prayers that you pray. But the rosary always seems to be one that everybody has some um, relationship to. Well, when I became a Catholic, I, I had prayed a rosary here and there, and I always struggled with it, to be honest with you, when I was getting ready to convert, because I guess in my Protestant upbringing and my Protestant uh, universe that I lived in, there's this real uh, hesitancy toward anything that's too repetitive. Because of course, we all know, you know, Jesus words in the Sermon on the Mount when he says, don't be like the Pharisees and with their vain repetitions. And what is the rosary? It's a lot of repetition. And that's something that I guess I had a little bit of, um, you know, sensitivity toward was I didn't just want to be locked into this robotic prayer where it was just like, you know, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou. And, and, and to be honest with you, sometimes when I would go to churches before mass or whatever, people would be praying rosary. And it was like they got into this this like robotic, hypnotic place with the rosary. And that sort of, at times, freaked me out. Well, I just decided I wasn't gonna let it be a stumbling block to me and I was just gonna move forward with my conversion. And, and, I, and as I was doing that, I, I began to, uh, you know, just try it. And But I didn't really understand exactly what was going on. And one day, I was going for a motorcycle ride which I love to do when it's nice out here. And I always, when I'm riding, I'm always listening to something in my earbuds. I wear a helmet with earbuds in so I can listen to music. But I, I was listening to a lot of talks as I like to do, sermons and, and different talks. And for some reason, uh, I decided to take a break from some of the apologetic stuff I was, I was listening to at the time. And I put on this talk by Father Don Calloway called, um, it was about the sword of our spirit, our spiritual weapon. And it was about the rosary. I thought, well, I'll give this a try. So I took off on my bike, listened to this talk, and, and he was sharing about his book that he wrote um, about the rosary. And this talk that he gave was going over the history of it, where it came from, and how it's this spiritual weapon. And I was mesmerized by the things that he was teaching me in this talk about how the rosary had been used over the centuries in different ways, and, and it was a weapon. And, and of course, at the same time, I was learning about things like uh, Our Lady of Fatima and how she called the, the visionaries to pray the rosary every day. And, and more and more I was be becoming convinced that I hadn't quite tapped into the full power of what this thing could be. So I decided then and there that I would start praying a rosary. Whether it felt weird to me or not, whether it seemed like it was uncomfortable or not, I was going to do it. And in order to get around what I was afraid of with this vain repetition, I just decided simply I wasn't going to pray in vain. Because really, I don't think that Jesus' problem with the rosary was the repetition part. Because, I mean, if we look in the book of Psalms, we see repetitive prayer. If we, if we, if we repeat the Our Father or in the Protestant church, we call it the Lord's Prayer. We repeat that. Nobody struggles with that. But I think there's something about these Hail Mary prayers that people say, well, it's vain. So I just decided, I don't know about everybody else, I'm going to make sure it's not in vain. And I'm really going to mean it. Well, as I started to do that, um, you know, I'm like, well, how do I do that? There's these mysteries. I don't know what they're all about. So I just did what, you know, a lot of people in our culture and generation do. I downloaded an app to my cell phone and it's kind of goofy sometimes, but there's like this female voice of this, I don't know, she sounds like she's like maybe 15 years old and she's praying in the beginning. And then you hear like seven people in the background with the responses. And I was like, oh man, am I really going to do this? It just sounded kind of goofy, but I just decided, you know what? I don't want any of my stuff to be hangups. I'm just gonna go for it. So I started doing that. And I tell you what, it has been 
life-changing. And I know that might say, oh, you're being dramatic, but it really has changed my life because for me, a lot of my life and my prayer time has, has been a lot about like praying for things I want or other people, things I need God to do. But what I'm learning as a, as a new Catholic, especially through the rosary, is this powerful prayer that doesn't depend on what I'm going through or what I need or what I want. It's a prayer that's about Jesus. And the mysteries walk us through the life of Jesus and the things that took place in the gospel. Our pastor, Father Chris Podaski this morning in mass, he said that you could almost survive just on the rosary in terms of becoming a saint. That there's so many powerful things associated with the rosary and the mysteries that if that's all you had, you could practically become a saint. And I've been thinking about that. I'm like, you know, I've just sensed this divine uh, word in my life through that and it's really changed me. Now now my prayer is so much more focused and I've begun the, the practice of, of praying the rosary every single day as we've been called to do. And I know a lot of us right now are, are worked up about so many things in the culture and the church and our own lives. And, and you know what? We, we've, we've become accustomed to when bad things happen in, in our lives or you know tragedies, we say, well, our thoughts and prayers are with so-and-so about this and about that. And I'm going to be like really frank with you guys. There's been a lot of times in my life when I've said to people, oh, I'll pray for you about that. And then I've just never thought about it again. Well, now that I'm praying a rosary, it, it helps me to be focused in my prayer to say, okay, when someone says to me, Keith, will you pray for me? And I say, I will pray for you. I know that in my heart, <clears throat> I will have an opportunity later on to pray a rosary. And oftentimes I'll offer that up and I'll say, this rosary is for this person or that person or, or whatever's going on. It's really helped me. And, and I didn't expect it to be that way. So for me, something that I expected to be sort of, you know, I put up with it and maybe dabble with it a little bit. I Unexpectedly, I've, I'm telling you, it's been amazing. I love to pray the rosary. It, it's made me so much closer in my relationship to Jesus and, and in my faith. It's drastically improved my prayer life and it's made me so much more cognizant of what a weapon we have in that. You know, there's been a lot of instances in history where people have referred to the rosary as a weapon against evil. And I just want to tell you from my own experience, I have felt that and seen the power of that. So let's join together and let's continue to pray the rosary. Let's take advantage of every opportunity we have. Yeah, I know there are so many other devotional things and, and I'm going to get into more of those later and I'll learn about more of those later and so will you. But for now, wherever we are, the rosary is so amazing. So I encourage you guys, let's pray it every single day. I strive to do that. And I'm telling you, when I do, there's a closeness to God I feel. So thank you guys so much for watching. This was number six. I've got more videos coming with the last four things that are unexpected but awesome about being Catholic. God bless you guys.